Crystalline and Jin are competitive and at 23, eager to move forward, but they can't actually agree on anything. Jin and I met at the gym. I was actually working out and uh, apparently I wasn't doing the machine properly. When I see people doing equipment ineffectively, I come around and I tell them. Jin was definitely hitting on me that day at the gym. It's not flirting, it's called being a personal trainer. I don't know why he denies it. All I was trying to do was just do my job and then you ended up hitting on me. Uh, I'll have you know it was only several <laughs> weeks after we were talking to each other, barely dating, when he told me he wanted to marry me. From the second that we kind of hit off and we started going out with each other, it was almost immediate, like our connection was very strong. Mm. The things I love about Crystalline is uh, she's always there for people and she's very caring and loving and compassionate. I love that he's able to deal with me. <laughs> uh, I proposed to Crystalline on her birthday. She had no reaction whatsoever. I asked her if she'd marry me. She kind of looked at me and looked away and like kind of put her head down. I thought that meant no. <laughs> So I didn't even answer him. I was so shocked. I was just like, okay, is this my ring? And I put it on and started taking pictures, and <laughs> that was it. I just was so, did not expect it at all. I think the most important thing for us to get married is now we can have kids at any time. We can definitely go over everything in detail on Friday. I would say it's going to take about an hour. Crystalline is a financial planner with a hectic schedule. I am extremely ambitious. Every day I have a list of things I want to do before I go to bed. I have a list of things I want to complete by the end of the week, by the end of the month, by the end of the year, and everything has to be done. I don't want to do this anymore. What a surprise I'll do it by myself. Well, I'm a personal trainer. I try to keep myself very healthy. You're eating again? Obviously. I tend to eat anywhere from four to six times a day. It's a very time-consuming thing. It's almost like a, like another job. I hope you're ready to kick some butt because we're having a really tough day tomorrow. It's legs day, muscular endurance. With demanding schedules and back-to-back -back workouts. Did you clean up the garage? Right now's not a good time. Well, and right now's never a good time. This couple's plate is full. They need professional help to get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Crystal and Jin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. So congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I hear that you haven't had time to tie the knot. Well, I'm here to help. Cool. There is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day. The dress, the location, the flowers, the menu, to one of your mothers. Mm. Wow. My, like, suit and everything I'm going to be wearing at the reception. I can't choose that out? No. I can't even see it? No. <laughs> when I'm dressed up, I gotta be fly. I gotta, it's, it's gotta be popping. Both moms are gonna present their perfect ideas for a wedding, and then you would get to pick. Um, this can turn out really bad. You do know you do know this, right? Especially if your mom does it. I think my mom would do a lot better than your mom. I think it would be good because we're so busy, and it would take a lot of stress off of us. I think this is good. I like <sighs> it. Okay, okay, so you're on board? Yes. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, let's go get you married. All right. Okay. Introducing the moms. Jin's mother, Surinder, is a traditional Indian woman who believes strongly in her culture and its customs. Cooking and making nice meal for my family is the happiest moment of my life. Here we go. My marriage is the arranged marriage, and I love my husband. Rasmala is good. My father is the commander in Indian Army, so he has strict rules. I was also strict with the kids. I want them under rules and regulations to listen to me carefully. She's very traditional. What traditional Indian moms do is they put their family before before themselves. You're my most loving woman. <laughs> loving woman. I love yeah. you. I love you too. Jin's mom gets things accomplished by making you feel guilty. I will stand up for myself, for my family, and for my culture. No one can push surrender around. Crystalline's mom, Kelly, is a strong-willed, small-town gospel singer. Choose to smile when someone walks by. I'm free-spirited, kind-hearted, very giving, and I'm always thinking about other people. I'm a PK kid, so that means a preacher's kid. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean I was a good kid. Kelly shocked her God-fearing folks when she chose her husband. I am married to a Sikh, and that wasn't too agreeable with my parents. The two cultures, they're both very different. It was really tough, but 
I've been almost 25 years married, so I think I've proven them wrong. My mom knows what she wants. She is very intimidating. I definitely don't ever like to disappoint my mom. If she wants me to do something, I'll usually just do it just to please her. Not old mother. She's a very opinionated person, uh, kind of like how Crystal is. If she wants something, <laughs> it's going to be just how she wants it. So now you see the right way is to be with me, right? I hear you. All right. <laughs> Love you. If you don't want to know honestly what I think, please don't ask me. These moms don't see eye to eye. Kelly and me are from two different cultures. Surrender's a traditional Indian lady. I'm more contemporary. I am always home with my family. I tour quite a bit across the States and Canada. Kelly is never home with her family. I don't know what she does. I've heard that Surrender's got a temper. I can have one, too. Uh, Kelly is very bossy. Crystal and Jen, they both want to stay on my good side. I am a little bit afraid of her. The big day is what's really in question. I don't want it to be pure Indian or pure Christian. I'd like to have a nice compromise between each other that makes us happy. Well, I'd like my wedding to be simple. By simple, I mean, like, um, I just wanted to get down to the point. My vision for the wedding for my daughter, Crystalline, is heavenly, a winter wonderland effect. My vision for the perfect wedding is beautiful, colorful. We can have white, we can have silver. Bollywood wedding, yeah. Maybe splash it with a bit of pink. Gold, purple. I do not want to see any bright, funky colors. Only the Sikh ceremony. If they want me there, I've told them it's going to have to be the Christian ceremony. So I don't want to see uh, Crystalline in white dress, at, not at all needs to be a white dress. Should be Indian wedding in Lenga. I don't want to have just pure Indian food at the wedding. Indian food and Indian snacks and Indian deserts. No way. There's clearly a need for Gina to lay down some rules. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision for a wedding. Now only one mom's vision will be chosen and the losing mom has to assist the winning mom with organizing the entire day. This is not what you guys told me. Truthfully, I was very angry inside. I didn't want to show it in front of the kids and that. I, I will be the winner, yeah. You will be the winner? Yeah. Do you really think you're gonna win? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. If I have to be Surrender's assistant, uh, I don't think I can do it. I might have to walk away from all of this. Crystalline, are you okay? Yeah. As long as Surrender is willing to do what my mom says, we're good. I'm pretty sure my mom is going to win. It looks like we've got a fight on our hands. Don't mess with me, Kelly. OK, so we're all on board, all yeah. four of us. Yeah. Well, may the best mom win. <laughs> two moms, two cultures, two visions. I don't see how this is going to work. Surrender, you should prepare for a war. I may look small and sweet, but I will be the boss in this wedding. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Crystal and Jin choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. If my mom plans the wedding, I am concerned that uh, she might not take into consideration how modern we are and things like the decor. She might do it a bit more in her taste. Mm, so delicate, too. Just gorgeous. These are really pretty. I actually don't like flowers. I'm hoping not to have tons of flowers everywhere. Every girl likes flowers, don't you? Can I help you with anything? I'm looking for uh, centerpieces for my daughter's wedding. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. I'm looking for something white, okay. heavenly, pure. OK. I don't want anything old and grubby. How about this one? This looks like would be from a grandma, not from a daughter. OK. How about the Lysianthus sprays? Oh, these are beautiful, but it's too much green. White flowers is definitely what I see. I want it heavenly. I want it pure. My daughter is not a heavenly child, and I want her to be heavenly for one day, please. How about this one? Ah, uh, that looks very nice. I really like that. I like the pureness of it. There's no greenery in it. Uh -huh. Looks like it would fit in heaven, maybe, eh? I am very confident about my presentation, and I'm very confident I'm going to win because I believe mine has more elegance and more romance to it. My biggest uh, worry with Crystal's mom planning the wedding is uh, she's just not as familiar with my culture as I am and my mom is. Would you like honey help with anything? Yeah, I want to take these three. Okay. Yeah. To pick, huh? 
थैंक यू यू वेलकम इट लुक्स गुड टू माय आईज एंड हार्ट दीज आर ब्यूटीफुल Is Serinda plans the wedding? I feel that she's not going to care at all what I want to happen at my own wedding. Everything will be completely traditional Indian. She's not going to want anything different. My son Manjinder will look very handsome yeah. in this. Yes, yeah. Of course. Sure. Can you show me that orange one too? This one right here? Yeah. These are be beautiful. Yes, they are. Yeah, you have some bindis? Uh bindis? Yes, yeah. sure. Some of our bindis right here. I it's, like this color. It's a very nice color. I feel confident uh, that she, i bought the things for the christling and she will sure like it i am very very happy times up the moms have to show their stuff two very different ladies and i'm pretty sure two very different presentations hi kelly hi gina hi. let's see okay thank you why don't you tell me about the vision so all the bright colors have it Hindi music and spicy food, winter wonderland effect. So this is the coconut. This is a good sign of happiness. And these are my favorite glasses. What do you see Crystal in wearing? White and flowing. I have these all the bright. Oh, I love this. This fabric I will use for like in Indian wedding lehenga and in the evening purple color. This is something I wish her to be. an absolute angel. What were you thinking of as far as the location goes? Like a castle in a grand hotel between 400 and 500 people. Wow. A big reception. Some more bling. Here is the box to put Indian sweets in the, uh, to give to the bride and groom. This for the decoration. And these would be hung Hanging. in the room. The room. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. A little angel for my heavenly theme. You really want the room to sparkle. <laughs> This tray is for the ladoos and Indian sweet. We pass them around giving the guests to eat. And I'm thinking this is a high centerpiece. Yes, it really caught my attention when I saw it. Eye level is completely see-through. I think that's really smart. These are bindis. She shows the people that this lady is, is no more single. She's married now. Well, you have some beautiful pieces. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to these okay. and we'll put together a presentation for Crystal and Jane. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavenly Winter Wonderland or Bollywood Glam. I don't know if Crystal and Jane are going to go for I their pitch this is going to be a tough one kelly my vision is the brightest and the best good luck to you cuz you're going to need it it's time for crystal and jin to see gina's presentation of their mom's visions for the big day hi hi how are you good are you excited we're very excited What the couple don't know is that their mothers are watching and listening from a secret location. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mom. Are you ready to see the first presentation? I think we are. I'm ready. Oh, uh This is a heavenly winter wonderland. Wow. Lots of white, tons of crystal with hints of a dusty sort of lavender and an ice blue. Very different than what I expected, but it's still very nice. It's a lot of crystals. Crystalin, this would be your gown. Very full princess, very angelic. Very nice. I mean I look good in anything so This would be a sample of your high center piece. That's amazing. That's my girl. It looks okay kind of much. Really big. How are you supposed to eat with that thing around you? You're going to hit your head into it. You're too much gin. I really like the purple. It looks gorgeous. A little over the top for me. So are you ready to see the second presentation? Yes. Yes I am. Wow. Wow, nice. look at the linga. That's more like it. <laughs> he likes it. Yes. <laughs> you probably told him to like it, didn't you? No, he already like it. So here we have Bollywood glam. Tons and tons of bright color, spiciness. <laughs> lots and lots of beading, lots of embroidery, lots of jewels. I definitely think the bangles will look really good on you, that's for sure. The richest red roses, 
I think roses would be quite simple for a centerpiece. I think the roses are good. I mean, they're not too much. They're not over the top. My son really likes the roses. Yeah. Your roses? Yeah. A little bit of colored glass for the champagne flutes. Really nice. We have the box of sweet cakes. I love the Langa. It's gorgeous. I definitely love my Shirwani. I imagine that looking real fly on me. I really like the colors, um, the embroidery and everything like that, and patterns, very vibrant. There's a lot of colors mixed, though, like the pink and the red, and I'm not sure it all matches. It's nice and clean, you know, elegant. That's more like it. He likes Bengals, he likes Indian Langas. I think your son just doesn't like me. So I'm going to leave you two to discuss, and when I come back, you'll give me your decision. OK. Sounds good. Wow. Yeah. That's it? And that's it? Kelly and Surinder are cut off from spying, while Crystalline and Jin have to decide who will get to plan their wedding. So you're nervous? A mm, little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Well, when we look at this here, there's a lot of white. I have a little bit of a problem with that. I don't know what's going on there. This is gorgeous. These colors are amazing. I think it looks really elegant. Mm, I No, I wouldn't say elegant. I'd say it's a little bit too much. If we go look over here, is this really what you want as our centerpiece? That's so simple. <laughs> the roses are beautiful. I mean, that's elegance. Uh, that centerpiece, it's too much. Way too much. Too poofy. I don't know. This seems too simple, too traditional. And the only thing I like on this side is the linga. <sighs> traditional side, I think it looks good. I like it. This is one of the biggest decisions we have to make. We have to live with this. We do. What do you think? I don't know. I made a decision. I'm just worried about telling them. I don't want to tell them. I don't want them to cry. I think I'll be the bearer of bad news here. I'll do it. I'll be good at it. I don't know how good you'll be at that. I'm OK with that. <sighs> have you made your decision? We have. It was very hard. Very difficult. Don't tell me. Tell your mothers. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Crystalline and Jin, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Oh, man. That's and crazy. You should be sorry. And now it's time to tell them your decision. <sighs> oh, this is a tough one. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is hard for both of us to make, to make this decision. Um, I just want to let both of you know that we really think that both of them are really nice. But unfortunately, there has to be one winner and one loser. I'm sweating, Sorry. waiting. So, Kelly, we will be going with your vision. Oh, oh my god, I am a loser. No, you're not a loser. You're my assistant oh, now. Okay. I'm so excited. I get to plan my daughter's wedding. Everything's going to be fabulous. I thought that my mom's presentation was very nice. It was very elegant. You'll be the best assistant ever. Okay. Personally, I really wanted to pick my mom's, but uh, it just didn't happen that way, because I want to make her happy. As long as she's happy, everyone's going to be happy. Kelly, congratulations. Thank you, Gina. Surrender. You're going to be Kelly's assistant. But I am very disappointed. I really don't like the ideas of being assistant. I want to become a boss. Working together with Surrender, it's going to be fabulous, because I'm in charge. My mom might be quiet sometimes, and she might not really seem like she'll stick up for herself, but believe me, I, uh, I've been around her enough, and I know she's not taking uh, anything from anyone. OK, so let the in-law wedding wars begin. OK. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Surrender seemed all smiles. They're the ones sometimes you have to watch. I think that there's no compromise necessarily in Kelly's world. I think it's just going to be this is her vision, this is her way. Game on. It's time for Kelly and Surrender to pick wedding favors. First thing I see is this tree here. No, Kelly. Come on. This is, this this is, is too so, white. This is so no. nice. White is heavenly. It's angelic. You should see some of the stuff down here. It's lots of white stuff in that. Surrender, what are you doing? You're my assistant. You're supposed to be helping me. Oh, look at the candles. Oh, white. Beautiful, no? Even some white stars. Yeah, but uh, you select everything white. No but colors. But I thought I'm the boss, no? You are the boss, but I, is, there should be some colors because it's a wedding. OK, but I think I have ultimate calls, so I like these. I have told Surrender so many times now that the wedding is white. 
The color scheme is white. Those, okay. no, okay. no. Okay, you just push the cart and you just listen to me, okay? Please? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not really good time with uh, Kelly because she's a little bossy today. So heavenly looking. This isn't too bad, it's a nice star. What do you think, Surin Surrender? Surrender is supposed to be here as my assistant to make things easier for me, not harder. Red, pink, Surrender, like what have you been doing? Like honestly, you're wasting so much no, time these are here. Beautiful colors. Look, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful for you, but not for the wedding. It just okay. doesn't work. She get mad. I will be a little mad at her too because I am the groom's mother. Determined to stay on track, the moms keep their appointment to visit Kelly's church, her dream venue. We were in my home church where I raised my daughter and it's my father's the minister here and it's where I really desire for my daughter to get married. What do you think? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful, but it's uh, not fit for the people. Everybody can sit here, somehow we'll do it. No, I don't think so, it is too small. We can do an overflow. We just put the TVs downstairs with the monitors and we, mm. they can watch from downstairs on TV. No, in the basement? Uh, yeah. No, it, I mean, look, no. it doesn't look nice in the basement. What do you mean it doesn't look the nice? They're still here, the they're basement? still gonna be here with them. I want everybody to do, we sit on the same floor. I'm the mother of the bride and I get to choose what I want for my daughter. And it's a Christian ceremony in my church. I think I will bid for you in the car. What do you mean? Surrender, seriously. I am really angry with Kelly. She brought me here to show the church for the wedding, but I don't like it because it's too small for the people to fit. And she's telling me that half the people will sit upstairs and the half will go downstairs in the basement. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure the agreement was one of us won and I am the winner. So don't be a sore loser. <laughs> Tensions are high, but there's no time to quit. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. Crystalline has agreed to give over full control to her mother. If Kelly doesn't choose wisely, <laughs> Crystalline's entire wedding day will be ruined. Nice and poofy, nice and flowy. No, oh, they're all white. Oh, look at the train. It's just beautiful. Mm. Like this one? Mm. No. Oh, this is so simple, Kelly. Mm. No. What about this one here? Mm. No. What do you mean no? I don't, I don't like Kelly. I don't like any of them. Surrender? No. Uh, surrender's uh, really being a hindrance to me. She really is. I don't like it because it is in a white color. White is, uh, in our Indian culture, a sign of uh, sadness. Crystalline won't see her dress until her wedding day. She has to trust her mother to choose the right one. I need my dress to fit me perfectly. I'm working out. I want to look really good on my wedding day. This is so frustrating for me. Okay. Do you like it, Mom? Yeah, it's nice. So pretty. It doesn't feel like there's like very much detail on here. Just, you know? What do you think, Mom? Mm, no, I don't like it. All right, let's see another one, hon. I think this is really nice and beautiful on you, but it's not the one yet. Jin's mom, what do you think of the dress? I don't like it. Why not? It's uh, very simple and it's in white. She keeps telling me, I don't like white, I don't like white. She's got to wear her white dress for her wedding day. I mean, I really want it that way. I want my uh, daughter-in-law in a red, bright lenga. Uh, well, I don't like red. How's that? Is that fair now? I don't care if she get mad. She should have respect for, for my opinion, too. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, my God, it's just so beautiful. Okay. Absolutely stunning. To me, that's just perfect. It looks so elegant. Can you tell me she does not look like a princess in this dress? I am sorry, Crystalline, I don't like this dress. Can somebody just please make up their mind? I've made up my mind that this is the dress. I need you guys to agree this is my day. I want both of you guys to be happy or I'm not gonna be happy. I'm no, sorry, Kelly, I don't like it. This is like once in a lifetime thing that my daughter's gonna have, you know? Yeah. And I'm never going to get this opportunity again. Oh, I'm sorry. Mom, this isn't fair. This isn't your wedding. It's my wedding. You're ruining my day for me. I don't even know what to say to you. I'm so uptight inside. I feel so hot, so flustered. I just want to leave. I just really want to go home and calm down right now. Where did my mom go? 
Why can't you guys just get along? Why can't you pick something you both like? This isn't fair. I can't even see my dress. This is horrible. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna go home and sleep properly. Like, I'm gonna be up all night thinking about this. I don't know how this is gonna work out. Can you help me get out of this dress, please? I don't care. I want Christine to wear lenga because she's now my daughter, not Kelly's daughter anymore. I'm here to meet with Crystalyn and Jin. They better not be having second thoughts. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. Jeez, you're both here. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is good to see you. What's going on? We just don't know what's going on right now. Like, everything from the venue to the dresses, and just like our mothers are not getting along. And So with the dress, what was the problem? My mom left when we were trying on the dresses. There was one dress that she loved, and she was so happy, but Jin's mom doesn't like anything. She just kept saying they're white. She didn't want me to wear it. She wants me to wear a lenga. They're not agreeing on anything. Jin, how's your mom doing? She's really upset. She's called me a couple times, and she just she doesn't like the way that things are turning out right now. Okay. And she feels like the church is just going to be way too like claustrophobic for people. We've got to have a bigger place. My mom really likes that church. We've been going there for a long time, but there's not enough space for everybody, so. It's just way too small. We've got so many guests. I've got so many people in my family. It's just not realistic. I want everyone to be happy, and right now we're not happy. I think that what I should do is get your two moms together. So let me go. Let me touch base with them, and if you hear any anything at all from either mom, why don't you give me a call? Is okay, okay, Gina, thanks. We really need your help. I'm not even gonna take my coat off. I'm just gonna leave. I have too much to do, okay, all right? Thanks. I will call you. Okay. All right, okay. Thanks, Bye. I have to take off my wedding planner hat. I have to put on my referee hat because these women are fighting. There's some major stuff going on here. I don't know if the kids are gonna be able to get married. Hey, Kelly. Hi. How you doing? All right. Oh, hi, hi, Surrender. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Thank Come on. Stand over here. We have to talk. This is crazy. You're not getting along at all. This wedding is never going to happen. I came up with two things that I think you're going to be OK with. I hope that you're going to be OK with, because as far as I could see, it's the only way we're going to move on. First off, Kelly, the ceremony has to be in a venue, a huge hall that would be able to accommodate all of your guests comfortably. Still have your dad come and officiate it. We could make it very church-like. Um, I could think about that. I would, I'd be open to thinking about it, at least. And would that make you happier? Yeah. The other thing, I understand that you want to see Crystalline in a traditional white wedding gown. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Well, we're here today at a place that sells langas. I think that you girls should go in, choose a traditional langa for Crystalline to wear at the reception. Are you trying to side with her now? Because last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure you told me I was the boss of this. We're compromising just a bit to move forward. This is not panning out any way what I had planned. They have some beautiful pieces in there. See if you can find something. Will you do this for me? No, I'm going to try, Gina, but you know, I'm not keen on this at all. Just go look at a few things, OK? okay. Thank you, Gina. OK. They did not go in there happy. They did not go in there smiling. I have no idea what's going to happen. Look, look at the fabric. Oh, look here. This is so beautiful and nice. I like this because it will be, well, it is bright color, red color, and it will look very good on crystalline. These are all different, beautiful Surrender. colors. Surrender. I'm not saying they're not beautiful. They are, they are beautiful. beautiful. Look the embroidery. I love it. Look here. It's so beautiful. What do you think, Kelly? This is beautiful. It's this beautiful is color. Beautiful Everything color. it is pretty. Yeah. Somebody's really done a wonderful job putting this all together. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very tedious. Very, I mean. very, yeah. Why don't you help me finding one lenga for the reception, Kelly? You know what? I'm, I'm going to help you pick the lenga just because I promised Gina that I would try, and I will try it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm doing this for Surrender and Crystalline and Jen, and I'm really hoping to keep them all happy. That one day is the most important day of my daughter's life, and I want to have a lot of peace that day. Yesterday was a bad day for me, but today I feel much better, and I, I am happy today. I think right now I'm showing her what a good assistant is. Now I get a, ch a chance to become a boss. But it's not done yet. With time running out, Gina meets with Kelly to show her the venue. Gina, I'm worried. I'm really worried, really worried. Now, I know it's not a church, 
but please keep an open mind. Are, are you really looking into my vision? Are you seeing my vision? I don't, I don't see it at all. You just have to really erase all of this and understand that your vision, it's going to be in here. Do you like the space? Give me a chance to do what I do. Come on. Now just look, I mean, the space is beautiful. The walls are warm, the chandeliers will be a lot lower. The bridal party could come in that way. It's so dramatic this way. This whole front and altar. It's, it's not gonna look like a church. It's gonna be like this great big open space. You got all these tables. You can stick some chairs in here. I mean, it's, it's a sacred day. Trust me, I know what you want it to look like. I don't know, Gina. What is really the issue? I can't see my dad coming in to a hall to officiate my daughter's ceremony. I, I don't think he'll come in here and do it. I really don't. If you get your father here on the wedding day, I guarantee you he is going to want to do the ceremony here. Just trust me. Uh, this had better work. The dad showing up or not showing up is a major issue, but an even bigger issue right now, I think, is Kelly's attitude. And if she's not on board with this, the wedding's really gonna be a disaster. You have the Lenga for the reception? I do. Okay, so you did get that with Surrender? Yes, we did get okay. that, yeah. And the ceremony dress? Yes, I picked out a dress for Crystalline, and I'm just really hoping at this point that she's gonna like it, she's gonna put it on. I mean, for all we know, she might put it on and walk away and not even go through with the day. So we have both dresses? Yes, we have both We just them. have to get your dad here. Yeah, we need to do that, or you need to do that. I, you need to get no, your dad no, here. not me. It's the night before the wedding and time for the rehearsal. It's up to Gina to keep everything on track. You'll walk down the aisle. Oh, nice and slow, that's perfect. And seat her in the first chair. And then you will sit right behind her there. Mm -hmm. Right there, perfect. And now I'll take my groomsmen. My dad wasn't at the rehearsal today, so uh, Gina had to run it. So I don't know if he's gonna be here tomorrow or not. Nice long line, great. Follow me. Now you'll have bouquets, so hands at the waist. So you're gonna go off to the side. <laughs> just, just make sure he's next to you. Perfect. All right, we're ready for a wedding? All right? So, now we can go eat. Let's see. I am worried that Kristen is wearing the white dress tomorrow. My family will not be happy with that. It's really hard to envision the wedding right now because I know that there's been a lot of troubles going on and I just want everyone to be happy. We're just hoping for the best and we hope that, you know, uh, Kelly really has everything in check. <laughs> the rehearsal dinner tonight, uh, it was really awkward. Crystal was walking around not talking to anybody and I'm believing it's got a lot to do with tomorrow's the big day. She's really had no hand in anything whatsoever. I mean, as her mom, I was really disappointed for her to have such a negative attitude towards people. <laughs> All right, guys, if I can get your attention real quick. We just want to make a special thanks to our moms for doing such a great job in making this night possible. And let's have a great night tomorrow night, guys. Enjoy the wedding. Here's my daughter getting married tomorrow. I'm supposed to be really excited about it and everything, and at this moment, I'm dreading it. I, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's going to happen truly at this moment. So, I mean, something that should be so exciting is really weighing me right down. Crystalline, hurry up, come on, I got something to show you. Hi, Mom. Crystalline is at her mother's house to see her wedding dress for the first time. How are you? Good. Yeah. I have a surprise for you. But mine's better than yours for sure, come on. How about you show me your surprise first and then I'll show you mine. Well, Mom, I got Mendy done, look. Mendy? Crystal Lynn. What made you do this, hon? Seriously. It's my wedding. It's beautiful. Everyone does this. You know, I don't like it. I'm not going to say anything, though. This is your day, and I want you to be happy. And I'm going to have to just accept this for today. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. It's beautiful, Mom. Anyways, for my surprise, I've got your wedding dress here. Really? I think it's beautiful and I really think you're gonna love it, but I wanna try to keep peace between everybody and keep everybody happy. So I think even Jin's mom's gonna be pleased with this. You ready to try it on and see what it looks like on you? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right, come on. Keep your eyes closed, no peeking at all. Are you ready to see your wedding dress? I'm ready. You sure? I'm very excited, Mom. One, two, three, look. Oh my goodness, it's a Langa. Do you love it? It's beautiful. Wow, 
Oh my goodness, Mom, I had no idea you'd get me something I like so much. It looked like you when I saw this. Wow, Mom, I love it. Oh my goodness, look at all the detail. This is all hands stitched. And the corset at the back instead of a zipper, so it's very different. It's so fitted, it's beautiful, Mom. Do you think Jen's mom's gonna be happy now? At least I put you in a langa. I'm sure she'll be happy. This is beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I have a favor to ask, so can we just sit down for a second? I have to sit down for this? Come on. So, Jen and I were talking, and we'd really like it if you would sing at the reception for us. Are you being serious? Yeah. Do you know it's like three and a half hours before you get married? Mom, you have so many songs. You can pick one. Mom, it would mean a lot to me. I really want you to do it. <sighs> you know, it would mean a lot to me, too. I'd be very honored and very happy to do that for you, okay? All right. So let's go and hurry up and get ready for all I've got to do now. <laughs> it's wedding day, and Gina has her hands full. We have 15 minutes to make this a church. Are the ribbons on all 450 chairs? Girls, why don't we go work on the centerpieces? That's okay. fine. Take this okay. with you. Hey, Gina. Hey, Kelly. I'm so excited. I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait for my dad to come in and see it. I can't wait for the kids to see it. Do you think your dad's going to love it? I hope my dad loves it. Is he coming? Is he's he coming. He's coming. But I've got so many things to do okay. and hardly any time. So okay. when he comes, I'm going to bring him in right away, and I'll show him, and then we'll take it from there. OK, so that's great. Right, no, thank you so, so much. OK, hon. I'll see you later. Go take care of okay, things. Bye. Good luck. Well, I want to show you. Don't don't mind any of this. Wait till you see what's all around here. Look. What is it? What do you think? Are you going to do the wedding here? Uh, it's not a church setting. It's not what I'm used to, but it'll do. You'll do it. It'll do. I'll Come do on. it. I'll Come do on. It. We don't it have any time to waste. I was so worried about bringing my dad in here today because it's so close to the time for it to actually happen. But uh, he loved it, and I owe a lot to Gina for this, for sure. The wedding's about to begin, if you okay, wanted to sure. go in. You know where you're going? I, uh, Straight up to the room? Yeah, you okay. got it. I don't know where the bride and groom is. We need to line them up and send them down the aisle. We're a half hour late. Not good. The bride and groom finally arrive. The ceremony can begin. Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the sight of God and these witnesses. Join together Manjinder Singh and Crystal Lynn for Manu. Manjinder, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her in plenty and in want, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Crystal Lynn, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Manjinder, will you repeat after me, please? I, Manjinder. I, Manjinder. Take you, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Crystal Lynn. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Crystal Lynn. I, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Manjinder. Take you, Minjinder. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I declare that they are now husband and wife. <laughs> it was so hard not to cry. It was so hard. When I saw Crystal Lynn come in through the doors tonight, I just knew she let go of everything, all the anger, anything that she was holding about all of this, and uh, I think she was absolutely thrilled. 
The bride and groom mingle with their guests in the foyer while Gina and her team ready the room for the reception. We need to get all of these on the tables. Okay. I love it. It's party time. Time to change the clothes and get on with it. Let's dance. I would love to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Singh. The best thing about this wedding is that everyone has gone from being really unhappy to really happy. I want to thank my mom and dad for all their love and support, and I just hope that I will be as good of a parent as you have been to me. I would just like to thank both our moms for putting together this wonderful wedding. Please, guys, a round of applause to you. Thank you so much. God bless you. None of this would be happening if Kelly would have walked in and hated the venue. We had to make it a church, we had to make it heavenly. She walked in, she loved it, and now they could party. Are you upset with anything I've done here? No. You love it? Yeah, I love it. So to me, I succeeded. I love her. Ooh! <laughs> The wedding was absolutely stupendous. Everything worked out so good for us. The cake, the venue, the clothes. I think the decor came together well. I think the ceremony looked great. It was so touching that my grandfather married us. It was very beautiful. When I saw her walking down the aisle, honestly, I think my heart skipped a beat. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, actually. It didn't ruin the ceremony, but I was shocked to see her in white dress. This has been a really big celebration of love between the bride and groom. Now that we're finally married, we're just so happy. Honestly, all the stress is, is off our backs, and we just want to party. We want to have a great time and just enjoy being married. No more wedding wars for us, right? No, no, we're no. done. We're we are friends. We are peaceful friends. Peaceful yeah. now, yes. We are friends. Kevin and Sandra are the very essence of a dynamic duo in love. She's very hot. That's right. Yes. Super hot. Yes. Keep going. A little too hot for me. <laughs> Initially. So Initially. Kev <laughs> Z's, tuck in time. Every night before I go to sleep, he tucks me in. Don't forget my feet. OK. Thanks, honey. She's my little Jewish princess. Perfect. Love you. Me too. I found this incredible gem on web dating website for Jewish people. <laughs> and uh, when I saw her, I was just like, she's the one. That's so sweet. Aw. Your favorite DJ, Sandra, is getting married. And you want to know something? Kevin better be home right now cleaning those dishes. Kevin! I am not the controlling wife type. This is a figment of his imagination. All right. I proposed to Sandra. We were playing rummy cue with her, her grandmother and her dad. I knew that if I put the, the ring inside the chocolate pastry that she couldn't say no because she loves chocolate. She went to take a bite out of it and almost ate the ring in, in the process. <laughs> Kevin and Sandra want to get married, but they have no time to plan the wedding because they're always on the go. I have a computer consulting business. I do work at home. I have my own satellite radio show across Canada and the US, and it's going really great. What's up, you sexy boys? You're listening to The Sandra Z Show. And I'm doing my PhD, so I'm like super busy. Too busy to plan my own wedding. I do not trust Kevin to plan the wedding. In your face. If Kevin planned the wedding, it would be robots and keyboards. Kevin will plan a computer robot wedding. <laughs> Great. Well, no matter how it computes, Sandra and Kevin's nuptials will be nixed without Gina's help. Hi, Sandra. Hi. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my rules. We need somebody to make it happen. We need yeah. some help. Totally. But there is one condition. Not a big one on conditions. Yeah. What's the condition? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything the wedding decor, the wedding dress, the menu. 
to one of your mothers. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah. I need control. Total control. Total control. It's hard for me. I know. You wouldn't be able to control anything, but your wedding day would happen and fast. Maybe we should just try and go for it. I don't, I don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah, it's less headache for us. Yeah, and I have no time. Sandra and Kevin, I need your answer now. <sighs> yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. OK. OK. Great. Let's get married. Let's do awesome. it. Okay. Okay. OK. They are totally psyched about this wedding. At first, a little hesitant, but I think they signed on pretty quickly. And I think that we're going to be able to deliver. My mom's got a shot. I think her mom's got a shot. It's it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Yeah. It really is. Bring on the moms. Let's do this. I love this. Sandra's mom is all about glamour, big fun, and flaunting it all. I'm an older single woman who loves dating, who loves life. I love dancing. I love music. <laughs> it's all about the pleasure and the freedom. <laughs> This is my kind of dress. My mom is the Hungarian rebel. Vigyázzatok nagyon magatokra, mert férfiak jövök táncolok. She's pretty, you know, headstrong. Aggie, she's scary. I'm a little afraid of her. She's scary? Really? Kevin's mom, Shirley Ann, is all about maintaining tradition and keeping the faith. Being Jewish has a big responsibility and can be a real challenge. My mom goes to synagogue almost every day. All her friends are from synagogue. She pretty much is there when the sun comes up. Harvey and I have been married almost 50 years. Good job, honey. The big Bible. Harvey and I are really thrilled that Kevin is marrying somebody in the Jewish faith. Family is the key to Judaism. Family is most important. These moms have nothing at all in common. Aggie's a tough customer. Oh, now we're talking. Aggie's nature happens to be more wild, more out there. Totally different lifestyles. I am an outsider. I think things are a little calmer. I am Jewish, and it means a lot to me, but I'm not a practicing Jew. My background is not Hungarian, and I think Hungarians are great, but we're very, very different. So on one hand, I've got my controlling mother. And on the other hand, I've got my mother-in-law-to-be. And on the other side, I have Sandra. So uh, I guess she's in good company. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> With such conflicting opinions, this wedding has two outcomes, muzzled off or called off. Overall, we want it to be like just one big party. <laughs> As a small, intimate wedding. Red carpet, paparazzi. Super grandiose, amaze balls, incredible. I would like to see the wedding happen in a synagogue. I don't want to have it in a synagogue. Imperative that the food is kosher. A lot of cakes, a lot of chocolate, a lot of dessert. A violin, a harp, a flute. Oh, oh. Elegant. Lots of dancing, champagne flowing. What I really would not like to see in the wedding is wild dancing, <laughs> low-cut dresses. Kevin is marrying Sandra, but he's also marrying her boobs. Her boobs have to show. And then there's Kevin's opinion. I think there has to be a, a traditional element. My daughter is like an eagle, and it would be like putting an eagle in a cage. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. So there will only be one winner. Moms, one of you will lose. I like to be the lead dog. I know I'm going to win. I'm going to run the show. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decisions Sandra and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with this for the rest of their lives. Shirley Ann, you may stand for tradition and faith, but never underestimate a mother who wants to party. Aggie, you may be a sassy modern mama, but remember, tradition reigns supreme. 
Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. I'm looking for ideas for a Hollywood-style wedding. There is red carpet, like a roll of red carpet. Red carpet! If my mom throws the wedding, I believe it's going to be a big party. <laughs> All right. That is beautiful. If my mom would have it her way, we'd be having the wedding in a synagogue. Yeah, for sure. This is an original. Not necessarily our cup of tea. Love to get this for Sandra. That's very pretty, too. Something beautiful, like the glass what you break under the chupa. Oh, it's a great idea. Wonderful. I want this wedding to be glitzy, glamorous, super Hollywood, and totally out there. Time is getting late, and there's so many things to do. And for the first time, I'm really feeling the pressure. Hi, Gina. It's time for the moms to wow Gina with their chutzpah. OK, Shirley Ann, what is your vision? Jewish, traditional, brunch, synagogue wedding. A glamorous Hollywood party wedding. Where would the ceremony and the reception be? A big warehouse, a modern warehouse. What are these? Hamantaschen. There must be kosher food. OK. It's non-kosher for me. I would love to see a violin. Red carpet, paparazzi. Pose for me, now. There, you go. Candles, we will have. Flame helps bring us closer to the Almighty. Glitter everywhere, all over the tables. OK. I want a big, sweet table. Chocolate and candies in all colors. My daughter is all about sweets. We need to have sesame-crusted salmon. It's out of this world. I like salmon. Beautiful centerpiece, nice gold color. Take a look at this calla lily. And now, is that not beautiful? They are beautiful. Elegant. We have to have a special prayer book to be able to connect with the Almighty. Booze or no booze? We could have wine at a few tables. Oh, oh there you go. L'chaim. <laughs> My favorite is when the groom steps on the glass and everybody else muzzle toss. How about your son-in-law? Is he OK with this such a dramatic theme? I think he would do if she wants it. OK. Well, the next step is to pitch it to the couple. I'm putting my faith in you because this is really the best way to do it. This is a classic case of two very strong moms with two very clear ideas of how they want their kids to be married. Maintaining the traditions, I think it's really important. I do not want my daughter to be stuck at a synagogue for the wedding. I, I don't want to disappoint my mom or Aggie. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Choosing between the two moms is giving our groom a major moral meltdown. I'm torn between my mom wanting a traditional wedding at a synagogue and um, my fiance who wants to have a big party. This is about the wedding again. God bless uh, Jewish women. Uh, they have a reputation at times for being a little forceful. So I really feel for Kevin. He's trapped in this maze. I mean, it's a nightmare. What do you want? I, I think I want a more traditional wedding. I think so, yeah. I think I'm in my mom's camp. What do you think I should do? Come on, Kevin. You had your bar mitzvah in this very room. You're a proud Jew, aren't you? Right. Tell your fiance, this is who you are. This is your wedding. Right. Why can't you just have the ceremony the way you want it? OK. With a chuppah, yeah. with kosher food, and the party, the way your fiance wants it, then there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to work out. It was good to talk to the rabbi. It, was, uh, it helped give me some clarity. I know what I want now. I'm confident. I think that Kevin is going to get uh, completely attacked by these women. He will not be able to stand up against them. This is actually a wonderful primer uh, to what being married is going to be like. Gina will now unveil the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will be the assistant. Hi, good to see you. Come on in. And little do they know that their mothers will be watching and hearing everything they say from a secret hiding place. Time for Kevin to man up. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Hard thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be tough. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. Let's do it. Wow. 
That's amazing. Oh my God. I love it. Yellow, gray, fun, funky. She's right. Aggie's vision, I knew it, is a glitzy modern Hollywood wedding. Perfect. Right. The wedding will take place in a hip warehouse. She wants a DJ, a late party. Guests will arrive on the red carpet. All of the guests will have their picture taken by paparazzi. The colors, deep silvers, golds, lots and lots of liquor. Aggie does not want kosher food at this wedding. The food has to be kosher, and he understands it. But it's not that, that really traditional, well, traditional Who said trend. anything about traditional? All right, that's it. The wedding dress, sexy, revealing. Perfect. Can I, can I just, do you mind, just two seconds? So this thing, I'm not loving this thing. I think if this was perfect, they would have our pictures like juxtaposed. That would be just perfect. Because really, I mean, this is not us. I mean, we're, we're much cuter than this. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's step back and let me show you presentation number two. Okay. okay. Let's do that. Whoa. Ouch. That's more like it. Cornucopia of disaster. Shirley Ann's vision is a Jewish synagogue brunch wedding. Oh my God. Since this is a brunch, coffee and tea will be served. There will be wine on the tables. There will be all kosher food at this wedding. No wedding cake? No wedding cake. I have never seen that. A wedding Why without a cake. Why would you need a cake? What, what's the importance of a cake? The wedding is the importance. It's symbolic. There will be live classical music at this wedding. Yeah. We're going to be dancing to a violin, a harp, and a clarinet. It's going to be elegant. Observing the traditional elements of the Jewish wedding, Kevin, you would be breaking the glass at the end of the ceremony. Mazel tov. The dress, something lace, traditional, and long sleeve. Great, so I can sweat and not look good at the same time. I think it works. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does No, it doesn't work. work. Sandra, be honest, what do you love about this presentation? Eh. That's my answer. This is kosher, your mom's vision isn't. And at least my mom's no. vision has style no. and grace Maybe and creativity. It's and it's kosher, it works. Take a few minutes, I'll be back to get your decision. Good luck. Shirley Ann and Aggie are cut off while Kevin and Sandra decide who will be the wedding winner. This is amazing, this is creative, Look, and this is who died. No, my mom worked really hard on this. I get that, but why should we go with it? Because your mom said you to go with it? You know what the bottom line is, it's kosher. One bottle of wine per table. That means everybody gets a little sippy cup. Look at this, look at this vision. It looks like, like a lot of fun, but there's no tradition, there's nothing Jewish about it. You're gonna alienate like half of your family. This is hedonism at its best. Hedonism? Yeah. I'm in love with this. this is, it's us. It's gotta be kosher. You have to think about us, because at the end of the day, our parents are not sleeping in our bed. I'm not gonna disappoint my mom. Have you made your decision? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are going with? Don't tell me, tell your moms. <gasps> Whoa. Hi. Oh, God. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Great. You're in trouble. Tell your moms who you've decided on. Kevin, I think you should um, break the news to the moms. Uh, I, I can't do it. I okay, I'll do it. So, this was a really hard decision. But we came to the conclusion that we are gonna go with... You mumsies. All right! Oh no, oh no. How could you? I'm not gonna be sorry. I love you, oh, If Shirley Ann would have won, it would have been the most boring wedding in history. I tried for you. He did try. You did a fantastic yeah. job. We love you very much. Yeah, we do. Very hard. My vision was elegant. Consolation, hunk. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is a Hollywood premiere production. It is not a wedding. They may as well be married in a civil ceremony. I'm going to push to include many of the elements of my vision. We weren't rejecting the fact that it was Jewish. We were rejecting the fact that it was a brunch. Yours smelled the best. And it looks the best. Look at these treats. I wouldn't be surprised if we show up at our wedding and we see Shirley Ann's vision in place of my mom's vision. This woman is relentless. Your mom won, but the war's not over. 
Congratulations, Aggie. Thank you very much. Shirley Ann, you're going to be Aggie's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull her vision together. We've got one week to plan this yes. wedding. Let's get to work. All right. Shirley Ann is not willing to bend on anything. We really need to get her on board and let her know that she cannot push her vision onto Aggie's side. We've got to make it smashing. We've got to make it terrific and wonderful. My vision was the right vision. Good luck. With less than a week till they walk down the aisle, it's time to embark on Sandra's largest concern of the day, the dress. She's given full control over to Aggie. Whatever dress Aggie chooses, Sandra will be wearing that on her wedding day. Take a look at this gorgeous dress with Aggie, all this handy th work. These dresses are not right. Oh, come on. Why are we look even at here? This. Gorgeous beast. Not and the Sandra right dress. would look so gorgeous with a dress with long sleeves and a high neck and lace, you know, peau de soie. I need you to hold it. They're glitzy. There's Beautiful. No style. Maybe I can give you enough dresses to cover up your face. Oh. I feel really uncomfortable with Aggie being so domineering and pushy. And see oh my her. God. I think this is going to look beautiful. Aggie. This is really, really nice. These are awful. And that's it. Let her try it on. It's going to look good on her. You'll see. I was getting really aggravated. Just come with I me. I didn't even want to be your assistant. I wish I could see myself because I probably look so hot. Every bride gets to see their dress before the day. So I'm a little bit uh, worried. <laughs> Just, isn't that gorgeous? No. Oh, it's not the right dress. No. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect on you. It's embarrassing. She's exposed. Please. She needs to be covered. They could fix it by custom making the top. You don't need any cover up. Can you come over here for a minute? Is it possible that you could custom design the top? We might be able to do like a, a custom neckline for her. Right. And well, excuse me, it doesn't matter. First of all, you're my assistant. Sandra does not need to be covered up. Please take Sandra and try on the next okay. dress. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. Stunning, stunning. You look absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. You look absolutely stunning. Thanks, Marie. You are so beautiful. You get me so emotional. She's falling out. This is a big mistake. Don't even go there. It has to be adjusted, but I think this is the one Sandra. Adjust it I so would, that I it would comes vote up for this. Neck. No, not closing it up. This has to be adjusted, but the wedding is in six days. Can it be done? That's cutting it really close. Um, you know, it can't be done here, but it could be sent to New York. It would be possible. The dress not being here for repair or, or adjustment, it's very, very difficult because anything can go wrong. Do me a Thank favor you very and ask much. when you're on the phone if they can do long sleeves. And cover You're up. You're not running the show. This is the dress. This is what's going to happen. Aggie keeps shutting me down. I'm not happy. So far, Aggie's vision for the wedding has Shirley Ann. Red carpet. I love this. Seeing red. This is what exactly we needed. What take do you a need look, this take for? A look. What? What's it for? It's the red carpet for outside. You're talking about a wedding. It's going to be fantastic. You can have people coming out of the limousine and they step on it and they feel like a million dollars with Aggie. the paparazzi right there. This is a wedding. This is not a theater premiere. This, this doesn't make it a premiere. It makes it a wedding. It should be sophisticated. It should be elegant. This is elegant. What is it not elegant? This a red carpet flashy. with a beautiful... This is oh, glitzy. It, it, it's not glitzy. a wedding. What's wrong with glitzy? Red carpets, velvet ropes. Give me a break. It's not necessary. Become a paparazzi. I, I, I'm see. not a paparazzi. Why not? Aggie. She's so negative. Aggie, I don't get mm -hmm. it. It's getting a little more and more frustrating. Walk I'm it, not coming in here. The focus should be on the needs of the wedding itself. The holy matrimony, the invitations, buying shoes for the grandchildren, the important things. Help me to grab Oh, my God, who okay. needs this? Oh. First, I'm carrying heavy dresses, and now a heavy carpet. This is not supposed to be my role. This is so heavy. I know. Oh, come on, come on. You're walking too fast. Just put it in here. <laughs> All right. This is not necessary. Done. The next thing is the venue. Hopefully, synagogue pushing Shirley Ann will approve. What is this place? 
Where are we? We're supposed to be looking at a venue for a wedding. This is a venue for the wedding. No, 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 no. You I can't can... believe you can't even come in it's and take a, a look synagogue. at it. It's not a synagogue. You have to have a nice Jewish wedding in a nice synagogue. Just come with me and car. just take a you look. You go in. I'll be in the car. OK, see you later. I'm feeling very frustrated. This is not a birthday party. She doesn't seem to have room to understand what's important to me. At this point, I don't know what to do with her. Hmm. Wow, this is fabulous. Wow. I love it. Fabulous. All I know right now, that this is the perfect venue. This is it. This is perfect. Aggie, I came in to tell you, if you are determined to have the wedding here, then I'm out. There's no way I'm going to have a wedding in a warehouse. It should be in a synagogue. Take a look no at it. You don't even way. look at I'm the place. Be, I'm not being part of a wedding. This wedding. is your son's wedding. How can exactly. you be not part of it? Exactly. It and should be anything at you want. least a synagogue. Always going your way. It's a tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. Stop being so stubborn. The wedding has to take place in six days. We don't have the time for argument, especially when we know it's the right place, when I know it's the right place. I feel totally left out, rejected. I meant what I said to Aggie, <sighs> that if things don't change, then I'm not going to be a part of this wedding. I will not come to this wedding. I don't know where to go from here. I just don't know. I just absolutely don't know. I need Gina. With only two days before the wedding, it's time for Gina to attempt to salvage the mother's relationship. They're not getting along at all. Something has to be done. Thanks for meeting me here. Hi, Gina. Okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going. It's just not Thanks. happening. Shirley Ann is blocking my way, and, and she has so much negative energy, and I only have two days. Right. It just doesn't look like the wedding is going to happen at all. It's not OK that you guys aren't talking. It's not OK that you guys aren't working together. We need to do this or this wedding isn't going to happen. Aggie, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to give Shirley Ann a few things that were in her vision. But that's not what the kids wanted. Aggie, it's the only way that you two are going to move forward. First, we will not change the venue, but the children will marry under a chuppah. That, that would make a huge difference. It's traditional, it's Jewish, and it'll work. We will give you the chuppah. Having the wedding canopy is absolutely paramount. Thank you. The other is Shirley Ann. You will now be in charge of the menu. What? The groom's side won't come to the wedding if it's not kosher food. So we have to make this work. I wanted you to meet me here just to taste the food. Keep an open I, mind. I think you're going to like it. Do this for the kids, mom. Okay? Go, go, okay? Go, go, go. And try. Come on. Oh, let's roll. It looks so nice. Oh, my. It smells so good. It does. Aggie has to have the venue. It's important for her vision. But we can make the venue Shirley Ann friendly. These are the best courses, the best kosher food options that they have right. to choose a menu. OK. Let's start with the salad course. Okay. Butternut squash pecan salad. Or we have the fennel salad here. <laughs> so dig in. That's Let's amazing. see. amazing. Aggie, no, come. No. come. You, 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 have you it. like it. It's OK. You have it. You wouldn't know it's kosher. Whatever. Do it. Mm. Out of the swirl, okay. I definitely choose the pecan butternut. It is so good. All right. Entrees. We have the herb crusted chicken. Oh, right. Or the chicken roulade. Mm. It's to die for. I think I'll go with the herb crusted chicken. Come, come. You have to come. come. No, please. Come. No. You no, have I, to come. I, I'm not interested. Thanks, thanks. Just you taste it, taste choose, it. whatever. Right. Dessert. We have caramel pecan tart. Oh. Right. Or a fruit flan. Wow. Amazing. Mmm. The just shudders and the taste, I have to tell you, it's like being in heaven. Really, it's good. So we have a menu. We're good to go. OK. We will have the butternut squash pecan salad. Wonderful. The herb crusted chicken. Absolutely. And the pecan tart. Delightful. All kosher. Thank you, Gina, so much for making the arrangements. You're the greatest. You're the best. Thank you so much. It's a kosher hug. I'm still not happy about the venue, the warehouse. I really feel a synagogue would have been the best venue. However, I'm willing to go along with this. I'm frustrated because I think Gina is siding with Shirley Ann. Looks like we are going kosher food. It looks like we're getting a chuppah at the warehouse. 
I care about this wedding. I can't have it fail for Sandra. Okay, girls, let's get this wedding going. Let's get this wedding going for sure. We have a menu, we have a venue, we have so much more to do. If they're not on the same page, we're going to have a very unhappy bride and groom. With stress levels through the roof and the clock running out, Kevin and Sandra get a visit from Gina. They don't really know what's going on, so I think that they're starting to get really nervous. How are you guys feeling? Totally stressed out. Not good. Not good. Not good? I'm, I'm totally regretting doing this. We don't know what's going on. We heard our mothers are fighting. We don't know anything. Like, it would be nice if you can just tell us, at least tell us, like, a little bit. Like, I don't have a wedding dress. I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah. the dress. Your brother has the dress. The dress is coming from New York. So he is bringing it here the morning of the wedding. And I know it's two days before the wedding, and, you know. And that's why I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's scary. Because it's... Like, we don't know... If to not have gonna, any control over it. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna... It's, not, it's gonna... It's it might good. blow up in our faces. And we have 200, not... 250 people coming. More than that now. More, more than, than that. that. More. Three, close to 300. You know, this isn't a joke. This is our lives. I, I, it's stressful. Yeah. I mean, you guys signed on to this and you've lost all control of your wedding. And I get that, Yeah. but I'm working for you. It's two days before the wedding. You should be relaxing, just enjoy each other. This wedding will be flawless. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Trust me, guys. While the moms scramble to get the wedding planned, Gina sends Sandra for some much needed R&R before the wedding rehearsal. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, I'm so in heaven right now. I feel so great. I'd like to be like this every day. Mom? Hi. Yes, yes, honey. What's happening? I'm very sick, sweetheart. I can't make it tonight for the rehearsal. What am I supposed to do now? I, I don't know what you can do about this. I mean, I'll make it to the wedding tour. I'm just like praying and hoping that she's gonna be there tomorrow because how am I gonna have a wedding without my mom? I never imagined I would be this stressed out at this point. If you're not there tomorrow, we are gonna walk in to a nightmare. Whether Aggie is sick or just doesn't wanna deal with Shirley Ann getting her way, Kevin has no idea what's about to happen. Being the gentleman I am, I brought Sandra some, some sweets, some snacks. Hold on Sweetie. a second, hold on. Let me, let me call you back, okay? I just walked into uh, a landmine. What's the problem? My mom is sick. What? Now your mom has to take over, and if your mom changes my mom's vision, you are gonna have one unhappy bride on your hands. And really? I don't think you want that. What are you gonna do You're about it? You're joking me, I'm right? not gonna have your mom start taking over. If your mom fails... My mom's gonna fail. Really? Put that into writing. What the hell? My mom, my mom's gonna step in like, like we need her to. She's good at that. I don't think you realize the, the, the total problem here that I'm having. I am so stressed out at this point. It's the day before the wedding. What can uh -huh. my mom... Let me talk. It's the day before the wedding. What can my mom do? It's already emotion. This wedding is turning into a total disaster. You call your mom up now, and you tell her to follow my mom's vision. And if she doesn't, Kevin, it's on you. Sandra's not happy. I'm stressed out because I'm in the middle. I don't want to do this anymore. Kevin is totally driving me crazy. Don't even kiss me. If Shirley Ann takes control, I promise you she will not support my mom's vision. It will go completely haywire. This was supposed to be Aggie's time to shine. And she called me. She sounds sick and devastated. So I really want to make sure that we keep on track. And if she does show up tomorrow, that we deliver exactly what she wanted. With time not on her side, Gina builds the hoopa and works her magic to make sure Kevin and Sandra's big day is not destroyed. This looks better. I think we should even lose one chair. But her biggest challenge has yet to arrive. Shirley Ann. Hi, Gina. It's good to see you again. How are you? You know what? I have to say, uh, I really could not visualize a warehouse, but this is amazing. This is really very special. We have the hoopa started. Right? It's a nice start, right? Yes, abs yeah? absolutely. Where's Aggie? What happened? Him. I'll be right with you. Yeah. Shirley Ann, Aggie is sick. At this point, she doesn't even know if she's coming to the wedding. Oh, that would be terrible. Shirley Ann, I need you to step in and carry out Aggie's vision. But Aggie did win. So even though she's sick, yeah. I really, really need you to keep in mind that it is yeah. still her vision. We have no time. We have one day. Right. Could you carry this out? I'm going to stay with you. I need right. you to carry out her vision. Aggie's vision, sure. 
Sure, I can do that. It's for the kids, yes. All right, All right you're in charge. Okay, so All right. can we take a look at the uh, chuppah? You go do that. All right. All right. Shirley Ann, yes. remember Aggie's vision. Okay, I got okay. it. Aggie's vision. I'm trying to empower Shirley Ann at this point because we could use her help, but if Aggie and Sandra show up tomorrow and it's not exactly the vision that they wanted carried out, we're going to have a disaster. As Shirley Ann incorporates traditional Jewish prayer benchers on the tables and Kaddish goblets that signify joy and abundance, Gina is having second thoughts. Oh God, I think I may have just created a monster. Hey girls, this is going straight across? Yeah, that's fine. While Gina continues to prep the wedding venue, the rehearsal dinner is underway. And with Aggie still under the weather, Sandra steps in for some damage control. Um, I just want to make sure that you're, you're following in my mom's vision. It's going to be magical, it's going to be beautiful, you'll see. I'm getting nervous, I hope so. It had better be my mom's vision tomorrow. I will be severely disappointed if I don't see my mom's vision. Just hours before the wedding, all our couple can do now is put on a brave face. So we would really like to thank everyone for coming and we are gonna have an amazing, amazing time tomorrow. There are a lot of surprises and secrets that I don't even know about. And thanks to Kevin, because without Kevin, we all wouldn't be here. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. To everybody, thank you. Thank you. On the outside, I'm smiling, like everything is great, everything's fantastic, and on the inside, everything is falling apart. My dress may not come tomorrow. My mom is sick, she may not come. Shirley Ann may destroy our vision, and I'm totally, totally, utterly freaking out. It's the big day for Sandra and Kevin, but Sandra is not a happy camper. My mom is not even here, she's still sick. My dress is in New York, because it got fitted there, and my brother's supposed to be bringing it up, and He's two hours late. And you don't have any backup dress or something no. to use. Oh my God, a disaster. I just don't even know what's gonna happen. I haven't seen the venue. I don't know what Shirley Ann's gonna pull out of a hat. I hope it's gonna be like my mom's vision. Oh my God, you make me so nervous. I'm gonna have a mini stroke. This is not the way my day should be. I didn't imagine this to come to this point. And I'm really honestly getting uh, at the point where I'm gonna explode. With just an hour before the wedding. Mom! Oh, Aggie arrives at Sandra's to deliver some news. Are you feeling better? I don't really feel good, but I wouldn't miss this. Mm. I, I had to be here. I had to be here. Is the dress here? Mom, where is my dress? Well, Gabby has the dress. Gabby's Mom. bringing it. I'm so happy that you're here, but I need my dress now. Did you get no, it? No, I didn't. Gabby's not oh, here Oh, my yet. God. I know he'll be here. Somebody's he's here. coming. He's Who's coming. Somebody? I'm sure he's coming. Oh, he's coming. here. Oh, my hey! God. I was like so happy when I saw him running down the driveway. I was like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Oh my okay. God. I'm so happy. All right. I want to see it. I know. I know. I understand. It looks really good, actually. You ready? Yep. Relax. Hold on. Wait. <sighs> Open them. Oh my God. It looks good, right? Oh All right. It's great. Oh, I love it. I really feel like a princess. Oh, I'm Thanks, so Mom, glad. Please. It's amazing. I love I'm it. So I love pleased. it. I'm so pleased. Now that's a dress. Sandra is impressed with Aggie's choice of dress. Right. Now, hopefully, Aggie's impressed with Shirley Ann's touches to the venue. For me to take over and do everything, my goodness, I mean, the little books on the table and the petals, I, I, it's just been amazing. This is beautiful, just perfect, wonderful. The fact that Aggie is sick, she just totally stepped in and she's been motoring through it. The Hollywood theme, it's getting there. Shirley Ann is respecting Aggie. She understands that this is her vision, but there are definitely parts of Shirley Ann that I'm seeing. Well, listen, yeah. let me take this over, okay. and you get ready for the ceremony. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You look thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank All you. All right, get going. Yeah, let's put this on this right here. We just need two more. We've still got a ton to do. It's really all systems go. Aggie arrives at the venue all smiles, feeling a lot better, and is excited to see what Shirley Ann's done. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, we have a star! Look at this! Wow, this is fabulous. Aggie, how are you feeling? Feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, and how do you like that everything? So far, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love the star. I do look gorgeous. Look at your hair. Thank oh my you. goodness. With no time to lose, guests start filtering in and are greeted by the paparazzi. <laughs> Are you 
With almost 300 guests in their seats, Gina takes one last look around and decides everything is good to go. Bring on our Hollywood duo. I'm ready. As the moment approaches, don't, don't draw blood. Shirley Ann has one last traditional surprise. I found for you a kittle, a, a white robe to wear. An item that represents holiness, purity, and is worn at all religious events. You think that you're comfortable wearing it for this ceremony? Sure. Oh, this is fabulous. Kevin, Kevin, come on, sweetie. Come. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Dolly. Mwah. No, not, not for right now. Traditional or not, it's time for the wedding. There's Kevin with his parents. And there's Shirley Ann putting on Kevin's kittle. But there's no sign of Sandra since she stormed off. Our bride has finally arrived, and we couldn't have a more relieved groom. You made it, under the camera. <laughs> be thou my wife according to the law of Moses and Israel. I faithfully promise that I will be a true husband unto you. I will honor and cherish you, protect and support you, and provide all that is necessary for your due sustenance, even as it becomes a Jewish husband to do. The bride will now march around the groom seven times, accompanied by the mothers, symbolic of holiness. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring according to the law of Moshe and Israel. Sandra and Kevin, who have now entered into the holy covenant of marriage, that it be founded upon love, understanding, mutual helpfulness, and respect. And they're hitched. Being married feels amazing. I'm still taking it in. <laughs> When I saw Sandra walking down the aisle, I got uh, very emotional. And I'm lucky to have you. I am. And I love you. Thank you. When Sandra saw Kevin put on the Jewish robe, the kittle, she realized how much tradition really meant to his family. So out of respect, she covered her shoulder. With a jacket that Aggie had made for her at the same time as the dress. With the ceremony a success, all that's left is for Aggie to see the venue. What did you do? What did you do? I tried to follow your vision. It is gorgeous. I love it. I love the red carpet. I love the paparazzi. I love the setup. My mom came through, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was so totally surprised at what Shirley Ann did. I thought she did a great job. And I totally felt my mom's vision was interplayed in it. It was fun. Hollywood, was Hollywood baby. <laughs> Shirley Ann squeezed in a few of her ideas like the chupa and the religious ceremony, but that's okay, I loved it. I loved everything about it. We would first of all really, really like to thank our moms. They've done an amazing job for us. Thank you, moms. Thank you, momsies. Let's just celebrate. Feeling so gratified and relieved and happy. Everything finally came together. And Aggie loved it. I made the right choice putting Shirley Ann in charge. In the end, she totally delivered. She helped me pull together this wedding, and the bride and groom are in there dancing, having a ball. It's a party. It's Hollywood. It's the best wedding. <laughs> The food turned out wonderful, and everybody's dancing and having a great time. 
I am so proud of our moms. I think yeah. we're both so proud of our moms. They did an amazing job. We have one very conservative Jewish family and one less traditional family. And I feel like in the end, they both came together and everyone is finally one family. I like Aggie. I think our future is going to be great together. I don't have any doubts. Two different ways of life it is, brought together. This is to a good beginning. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs>